you bro, this is fine. Everybody who wrestles with you guys, he's like, he's like, man, let me, let me get in right here. He literally was like, oh, let me get in right now. He's like, I'm good. All right. Okay. Alright, so let's go over a couple things, right? So once again, he's working as Della Hiva, right? This is the problem. There's a couple of things he can do. It really depends on his goal. He can grab my ankle, which to me is a better grip, less movement. Now, I would say it's a better grip, but it's less movement. He can grab my pant sleeves. That's actually a better grip, but I got more movement. Right? So you can kind of play that whatever, whatever makes sense to you. Okay? But once again, and once again, he could either have here, my collar, or I have the brace, or he can have here, I grab his wrist, okay, and I'm right here, and I snap it away, okay? But now, I'm quickly attacking the foot, pushing, pushing his leg in, and turning my knee to get away from the Hiva hook. But the, this, this little combo is like a one, two, three, right, fast, okay? Boom, bang, boom, right? It's hard. I mean, if I'm pushing it down, and if I don't turn him, if I don't get away from this hook, it's a problem because this hook don't stay here. This hook sometimes travel through. So understand the devil hook, you know? So it's not just something I can put my leg in, right? So when I'm doing my devil hook, I like it right here. I like it right here. So I can start attacking. Okay, so when I'm in this position, right, I'm right here, but it don't just stay right here. If you play too long, my goal is to drive my leg across the hip. Nah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the leg. Also, on the pump of the knee as well, instead of just holding onto the ankle for the pass. Yeah, like, instead of like, just like pushing it down and then pushing the ankle. Your left hand is passing the right leg. Hold on, now. Basically, you say, why can't you just, Sean. once you grab the ankle, just send the ankle straight to the ground? Yeah. So, you're well, so once you grab the ankle, send it straight to the ground. Exactly. Well, because I'm not, I'm, I'm not reaching that far down. I'm, 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 I don't need to be here. Not all the way down, but I feel like if you have to let it go, you can push it down. But if you do realize, <laughs> if you do realize, guys, the speed that I'm doing this is like doing that at the same time. But the problem is, my hand can, cannot be in two places at the same time. Right? So, a lot of times you can maintain balance. So I'm like right here, I'm going, I'm pushing it down, turning my knee up, and then I'm getting here. So, so it's very hard, I mean, I see what you're saying, you're like, why can't I do this? Okay? And then it could be something to say about it, depending on how much pressure he's putting on my knee, how, how strong it's looking, I may have to put some balance here, because if he's right here and he's like extending, he's turning my knee this way, it's going to be a problem. So sometimes I stop him from him turning my knee this way and exposing my back by pressing down on this knee. Right? So I'm like right here. Boom. Right? Okay? So one more time. Right? So I'm right here. Once again, if you, he got me in this position right here, I'm fighting the grip. Boom. Get here, then I'm doing the same. One, two, three. Then when I get here, boom. I'm really dropping heavy. And then the other key about this, when I'm dropping heavy, I'm looking to grab his collar. I'm dropping to grab, grab his collar. Now check it out, let's turn him. We, I'm gonna go over one quick detail on something that could happen. Okay, when I'm right here, the goal is to come around and grab this, pull this out, make sure his legs don't come together and pass. Back step on pass. Okay. However, sometimes things don't work out the way you want it. Meaning that I got right here and I'm about, or I couldn't get there fast enough, and he figured forward, but he did that. Which makes it very difficult. And he still got my, my pants leg or my ankle. Well, now I can't get in. Now I'm gonna push his knee down to the drive. And look, when I push my knee down, I push his knee down. I drive my knee down to the mat. When I drive my knee down to the mat, I'm gonna pick my ankle up. That's gonna create the leverage for him to lose the grip on my on my ankle or my pants sleeve. Right? And when I go here like this, and I go here, boom. Sometimes you always go back, 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 back,
I'm just gonna drive my knee down. When I drive my knee down, see what I'm saying? I'm saying by driving my knee down. And I drive my knee down, I'm picking my ankle up. To break that grip that he has on my pad, on my ankle. And then from there, last time I just go straight to mount. Anybody need to see that again? Yeah. Right, one more time. Right. Okay, well, once I do that, I, I turn the face off. Right, so once again, here, straight, quickly, boom, boom, boom. Okay, if I could, I can dig in, do right here, okay, I can snap, pack. Okay, and by the time I got here, he already locked up that figure four, okay, I push that knee down on the turning way. Okay, the good news is this. My knee is still above his knee. That means I'm good. If his knee got above my knee, then I got, you know, I gotta go a little bit more, okay? But my knee is above his knee, I'm great. I just keep it above right here, and I'm gonna stick it. You see, by doing that, try to hold on to it. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, yeah, right. Yeah, it's hard. Because when I'm right here, and I start driving my knee down, I pick up the ankle, his own leg works against him. He loses the breath, then I start going here. Sometimes I can even get my leg out of here. But if he has a strong grip, right? Oh, so he's getting body on me, I put my leg here, boom. And then I get my leg out. Make sense? Just add that quick little detail, and then we get some rolls. Ready?